Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. I am French Shy Pearson, and welcome again to my channel. It is July 25th, July 25th of 2024, 8.38 in the a.m. Did I say Thursday? Yeah, it's Thursday. Let's say it together. Praise God for whom our blessings flow. Physical and cyber threats to Olympic Games in Paris. People... You know, the last two days I've been on this thing and the Lord spoke to me again late last night and then this morning. And what I have to show you, it will blow your mind. And also, I wanna talk about Joseph Robin and Biden, our beloved president. Did you see his face? Did you see the color of his face? So let's begin. I did this video a few days ago titled, I Found Mr. President. I Found Mr. President. You know, he was missing in action, MIA, for like, what, six days. And then he came back. The last place that he went to was Las Vegas to a restaurant and a grocery store. You guys might remember I did this video, it's deep. I want you to see something in this and we're gonna go forward. There's Mr. President. There's the sun, like Ra. Notice the colors, orange and yellow or orange and gold. There's the orange and gold there. But look, I didn't see this at first. Do you see these three things? These are skulls, people. These are skulls. If I told you once, I told you a thousand times. When I cover Trump and I cover Biden, many of these areas and places that they go, these are staged events ahead of time skulls and look at that design is that an ancient design as well in those vases but look at the skulls it's three is that skull and bones and does it signify death it's deep y'all i said it's deep and if you want to go a little further is that the masonic hand so let me play this video I'm going to show you what I see people national and international the world is on Biden watch I have racked my brain and probably a few of you all have but I do it because this is my job and I'm wondering, where is Biden? Now to be fair, I haven't been on the internet for maybe 45 minutes, so maybe they found him. But you know what? I was the first one to find him. Oh yeah, I found him. See, here's the logic. Many times, if you wanna find out where a person's at, you gotta go back and find out where they've been. You gotta go back and find out who was around them. You gotta do some detective work, like the five C's of clues, codes, colors, confirmation time and conclusion. Do you feel me? Now here's Joe Biden here. He was out and about in Las Vegas. President Biden visits Lindo. So he was there and you saw the colors. Now let's go up a little bit. It might be redundant to some of you guys, but be patient. Because again, this is a deep video. All right, here we go. The five C's here, okay? Now, there Joey is shaking hands, but what do you see? You're gonna see the colors of rock or- Now notice, he's got his regular skin tone. 
like a basic Caucasian, blood flowing naturally, just normal skin tone. I'm pointing this out because I'm getting to something. Now watch this. Orange and gold, it's subtle, but then you got the butterfly. Butterflies are Masonic, like Masonic order, trust me. I've done videos on it before. Butterflies and Masonic, and watch this. <laughs> Do you see the background here? Do you see where they're sitting? Do you see like the sun god, Ra? Okay, I just said like it. I didn't say it was exactly it, but look, the sun god. Look at the colors. Rays of the sun. I'm going to get rid of the music for copyright. This lady's got on the black and white. It's mixed with blue, but it's the black and white. That means you play both sides. Stay in the middle, okay? And here's your rock also in the light. Orange and red. Orange and gold. Orange and yellow. Sun God. Music's still playing, so I'm not going to mess with that. So he's making his rounds. See the colors? It's all there. Look at it. It's beaming, it's speaking. And you know, the butterfly I showed you earlier, and there's, there's a lot of orange here. Look at that rock, orange and yellow. Look at that. I say it's speaking. Yeah, it's speaking. So we had the three skulls, like skull and bones, Notorious group, right? Alleged, well, however you want to describe it. The secret society, skull and bones. We had the sun, orange and gold. Everything's there. And we saw that Joe's face was a natural color. And that's what I want to show you guys. He had natural color in his face. Natural color. Okay? Now... I believe he went to see the sun god Ra. I'll say allegedly. Because when you see the video I'm going to show you when he spoke last night, you're going to see a different face. It's not going to be this face. You're going to see, to me, the rays of the sun, allegedly. Now, this is what you got. Celestial sun face. This is what you're seeing that was on that chair, that was on that bench at the restaurant, right? Celestial, celestial. But it, you had the orange, you had the orange and the gold, like Ra, you feel me? That's what you had, just like that. Now check this out. Celestial, positioned in or relating to the sky or out of space as observed in astronomy. Okay? Belonging to the heavens or relating to the heavens. Now here is the definition of Ra or Re, was the Egyptian sun god and one of the most important deities in ancient Egypt religion, Egyptian religion. His name is also the Egyptian word for sun. Ra was the creator of all other gods and humans and the ruler of the sky, earth and underworld. He was also the patron of kinship, power, light, and heaven. This is the sun god Ra. And here he is. I believe all these ancient gods of Akhtanaten and Ra. Mankind has brought them back and these are the rulers and powers of our day 
and they will be the Antichrist. They're bringing in this kingdom. Do you understand? They're bringing in the Antichrist kingdom. This is what they're doing. This is what you're seeing. The Antichrist kingdom. The Ra. I believe Joe Biden was affected by Ra, the sun god. I'll show you. I want you to watch his speech. He spoke for 11 minutes. 11 K is the 11th letter of the alphabet. K. He spoke for 11 minutes yesterday, last night. Now, Carmela, his vice president, the one he's handing the torch to. K. Carmela is a coincidence that Biden spoke for 11 minutes last night. Watch this. My fellow Americans, I'm speaking to you tonight from behind the resolute desk in the Oval Office. In this sacred space, I'm surrounded by portraits of extraordinary American presidents. Thomas Jefferson wrote the immortal words that guide this nation. George Washington showed us presidents are not kings. Abraham Lincoln who implored us to reject malice. Franklin Roosevelt. Look at him. Look at that face. You can't tell me he's not orange. You can't tell me that he didn't allegedly go see Ra. He was missing. He was MIA for six days. Even his hands, when he starts out initially, his hands, his hands look orange. Look at that face, he's orange. Many all over the internet, the buzz, that it's not even him. They say the background looked fake, that the trees were in different positions as the speech was made. He spoke for 11 minutes. 11 is K. Why do I bring up the K? I will show you. Kamala means lotus flower. Out of the lotus flower, I have been showing you guys videos that out of the lotus flower comes the sun god. So it is Kamala Harris' turn, allegedly. I'm not saying she's the devil or anything bad. What I'm showing you is Egyptian. What I'm showing you is that is this coincidence that Kamala Harris, her name, Kamala means lotus flower. And out of the lotus flower, what happens? The sun god comes. And this man is handing the torch over to Kamala. And look at his face, it's orange. It's about we the people. We can never forget that. And I never have. I've made it clear that I believe it. Now you see his face. Now, let's go to this here. This is the sun god Ra. Look at it. The sun, the triangle, pyramid, and the rays. And the rays. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. In Hebrew, in Hebrew, six, six, six. Watch this. In Hebrew, 666. This is what they're saying. See, look at that. See the three? Every three gives you a six. Do you feel me? So count the rays. 
One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Three, three, three. Six, six, six. And above, the sun god. I have Horus. I have Horus. This is who I believe Joe went to see. He was missing for six days. And when he went to the restaurant, it was all around him. So allegedly, this is what he experienced. It's deep. I got I to gotta gradually get, get there and show you. Now watch this. A friend of mine sent this to me. Thank you. She know who she is. Time Magazine featured this. Kamala coming forth. And allegedly Joe Levy. Look at that magazine cover. Look at that. Time Magazine. August 5th, 2024. Why Joe Biden dropped out. Kamala is coming. Kamala means lotus flower. The lotus flower. What comes out of the lotus, lotus flower? Ra. See that? And where is Joe going? He went to see Ra, allegedly. Thus, his face. Do you get it? I ain't done. It's deep. I, I got to break this thing down. It's deep. Now here it is here. Time Magazine goes viral with striking cover about Joe Biden drop dropout news. There it is. Okay, let's go further. The magazine came out, it's coming out. The edition is August 5th of 2024. Get this. Subtract that from Joe Biden's birthday of 1120 coming up. The difference is 322. Ain't that deep? Skull and bones, three, two, two. Let's go back. The three skulls. Do you see it now? You think, I tell you these, look at the orange and the gold, the rock. I tell you these things are staged ahead of time, allegedly. The three skulls, skull and bones. And now, what do you got? You literally have Ra, 666. Even in the sun, three there, three there, three there. In Hebrew, came in various colors. It did not, okay? This is how I used AI to- This guy ran the film. You're going to see various. So much going on. Look. 666, 666, Hebrew. The sun. It's deep, y'all. Joe's leaving. She's coming. He went to see what? Ra, allegedly. So if you take Time Magazine date of 8-5, that's coming out, versus 11-20, his birthday, you get 322, Skull and Bones. You know who Skull and Bones is. I already showed you. Let's go here. Skull and Bones, Yale. Skull and Bones. Let's... It has nothing to do with Yale. They just, they just happen to be at, they happen to be at the uh, college. But they're not affiliated. But here's Skull and Bones, 322. Three, two, two. Isn't that something? Please be patient with me. I got a lot to show you guys. Eight five, the magazine. Eleven twenty. Three two two. Is that coincidence? Okay, look at this. Eight five again, the magazine subtracted from ten twenty, which is Carmela Harris' birthday. Ten twenty. The difference is two two two. It's deep. And remember this picture I showed you guys a few weeks ago? Her insta her um, Vice President Kamala Harris 
when she tweeted this back in the day and I broke this whole thing down, 347, February 17, 2021. She's on a black and white checkerboard. It's deep. She's coming, black and white. Big challenges demand big solutions. So yeah, she was coming. But what is 222? Let's go into it, because it's deep. Here's your 222, the Antichrist. 222, B system, 222, Antichrist system, 222, as above, so below, order out of chaos. All this is 222. So this is this is this is what's coming. Eight five. See the lotus flower. Out of the lotus flower comes what? Ra, the sun god. These gods are chaos. Look at this. Now let's go here. This will explain the lotus flower, okay? So let's go to, um, I guess it's 649. I'm thinking I'm gonna be going right here. Here we go. Today, not tomorrow, not next week. Today. Got my commercials, get that out the way. The alphabet, I will show you. He sweated a V. And three seconds later in the movie, I pet goat, what happened? A flag separated. That means something bad. Let's go from there. Here we go, people. Now you got Carmela Harris. Here she is. She was born October 20th, 1964. She's known as the lotus flower. Why? Because Carmela means lotus flower. It's a plant, okay? Lotus flower. That's what it's called, lotus flower. See that? Her name, Carmela, means lotus flower. Why is that significant? I will show you. Watch this here. This is the video, I pet goat. That's a lotus flower. See that apple? See that checkerboard? That's how they speak. And see that V? That's 22. The 22nd letter of the alphabet is V. And I pet goat too. All this symbolism is there. They got this girl, she's holding the apple. Then it rolls out of her hand. Then the apple splits in two and opens up and a lotus flower comes out. Lotus flower is symbolic of new birth. But when I show you what it really means in detail, it's gonna blow your mind. But look at this black and white checker floor, okay? Barack Obama is on a black and white checker floor along with who else? Along with, um, uh, 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 here he is here. George Bush Jr. He's dancing. That means you play on both sides. You stay in the middle. You play Republican against Democrat or one person against another. That's why you see that. Plus you see the V, like I said, 22. All right, it's right there. Now, lotus flower, let's go deeper. It's gonna blow your mind. Something that's probably not never, ever been revealed or the decode. So I'm gonna reveal the decode of lotus flower because again, Carmela, Carmela's, her name means lotus flower, the vice president who will soon be president. But watch this here. Well, let's go back to this here. Like I said, Barack Obama, he got a V in his head. He's sweating because something negative is coming to the earth, particularly to America. And all of a sudden, what happens? The flag, it just disintegrates. See that? He knows something bad is coming to America, all right? You know, all of a sudden that lotus flower shows up. So after that, that's what you need to think about a brief look at some of the symbolism concerning the lotus flower. Watch this, this is mind blowing. It's commonly accepted that the lotus is the symbol of resurrection and rebirth, of a new life, of eternal lives. They are aquatic plants. Lotuses send out their roots deep into the dark, fertile mud below the waterline. Then their stem and bud reach upward 
toward the surface until it breaks forth into the daylight. They do you see that? The different variety of colors, pink, and then white like that, or ivory. All right, let's go to slide 49, because I really got something to show you here. Watch this here. Like rock emerging from the cosmic ocean. What do you say? It's like rock. Is that what he said? The lotus flower is like rock? Listen. Like rock emerging from the cosmic ocean. And you may remember from our first lessons that Ra is often shown actually coming forth from the opening uh, petals of a lotus blossom. Did you catch that? First time that I know a decoder brought that out. I want you to see this. The sun god Ra, symbolic from the lotus flower. Look at that. So now you see. That's deep, y'all. One more time it's and that's it. Often shown actually coming from the sun god Ra comes up. It's a stage. From the flower, here comes Ra with the snake and the bird. So, here comes, here comes Ra. Here comes Kamala. After Kamala, the sun god is coming. And notice it's in red and black, which means sacrifice. Will he be sacrificed? Is the country being sacrificed? It's deep. I want you to wrap your mind around it. Be, be patient because I'm going to show you what I believe the face of Joe Biden was telling you. Just hold tight. It's coming. So there, there's rock. Now, let's go past this commercial. Optimize my... And then we're going to go and we're going to do this other part. Now, this is the part that you should really pay attention to, not that you haven't. Moses went to see God. I said Moses went to see God to get instructions, to get commandments, so he can lead the people to sustain God's order. Joe Biden was gone for six days. Man's number is six. God created man, Adam. Adam, Adam on the sixth day. Could it be possible that the powers had a drumization right before us that Joseph Robin and Biden would be gone for six days because he went somewhere and his face showed it? Did his face show where he's been? Oh, it's deep. I want you, I want you to get it. So listen. Moses face shun. Moot face shun. Moses face shun. Moses face shun. Are you getting it? Exodus 34, 29 through 35. Moses' face shone. His face was different when he came back. He was gone. He was with his God in the mountain. Came back with the tablets, instructions for God's order, how he wanted them to be in the future. Joseph Robin and Biden was missing for six days. When he came back, was his face not shone? That's the point. Who did he go see? Allegedly, I told you, he went to see the sun god, Ra. Simultaneously, the lotus flower is bringing forth Ra. And the instructions will be given to the earth. Oh, it's deep. Watch. Moses came down from Mount Sinai carrying the Ten Commandments. His face was shining brightly because the Lord had been speaking to him. But Moses didn't know at first that his face was shining. When Aaron and the others looked at Moses, they saw that his face was shining, and they were afraid to go near him. Moses called out for Aaron and the leaders to come to him, and he spoke with them. Then the rest of the people of Israel gathered around Moses, and he gave them the laws that the Lord had given him on Mount Sinai. 
The face of Moses kept shining. And I, I want you to look at this. I want you to look at this. Moses is inside there. See the ears, see the nose, see the eye. Moses is there. He covered his face. After he had spoken with the people, he covered his face with a veil. Moses would always remove the veil when he went into the sacred tent to speak with the Lord. And when he came out, he would tell the people everything the Lord had told him to say. Like now, I want to show you something. This is deep. I have been mystified by the, and I'm not picking on them, by the rappers and other artists. Every time you turn around, they got something on their face. Rappers with face coverings. Every time you turn around, you got rappers, they got something on their face like this. This is a perfect example. We've been seeing this a lot. We've been seeing this a lot. Put in the comment section if you know what I'm talking about. Has this been bugging you? What's all these coverings the last, I'd say, three or four years? You know, and I'm going to go there. Folks ain't going to like this, but I'm going to go there. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, Pearson, you, you picking on black culture. No, I'm not. I'm trying to get you to understand what time it is. What's with all these coverings? Watch this. Kanye West with face covering. I wish I was prepared for this. Face covering. I know it's long, but we got to teach. You've seen it. You've seen it. You've seen how crazy this stuff thing got. He even got a video out like that. Don't tell me I don't know what I'm looking at. It's been bugging me for years. Look, look, who have they gone allegedly to see? Oh, I'm gonna go there. We gotta, we gotta, we gotta ask these questions, people. This been coming out for the last three, four years. What's all this? What is this? Are they speaking without speaking? Put in the comment section. This ain't about black. This is about spirit. The Bible says we don't wrestle against flesh and blood. You know, good and well, they've been using my people for stuff for centuries. Are we the author of all this? I'm not going to go there. What I'm saying is that when I think about these face coverings, I think about how many black people have done this. Have other cultures done it? Of course they have. But these are the superstars. We got a black guy here from Chicago. What's his name? I got it in my phone. I just got to think of his name. Uh, black rapper from Chicago. I can't think of his name. Black famous rapper from Chicago. What is this guy's name? This one guy. I can't think of his name. He's real famous. Here he is. Here he is. Chance. 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 He got a face covering which is yellow. Chance with yellow face covering. We're going we're gonna to find this. C-H-A-N-C-E. C-H-A-N-C-E. Chance the Rapper. Sometimes I do things spontaneous. And I think about it as I go. Chance the Fate. He got, in fact, I think I'm going to put it and, and put it on my... Uh, I'm gonna put it on my, uh, there he is with the sun, I guess, right? Angels, look at the sun, orange and gold. Look at that, look at the colors, Ra. But he's got, he's got a face covering people. I'm gonna, I'm gonna put it on my thumbnail so you can see it. But let's go back. Do you think, do you think this is what's going on in our culture? They're showing, us, I say they're showing us something. Allegedly, they're showing us something. They're trying to tell us something. Where have they gone? Have they gone to the mountain? Similar to what Joe did? That's all I'm asking. I'll let you decide. Again, I'm not picking on black people. But look at this here. 
But Moses didn't know at first that his face was shining. When Aaron and the others looked at Moses, they saw that his face was shining, and they were afraid to go near him. And then he covered it up. Now, let's show this here. Super Bowl connection here. Super Bowl 56 was played in Sophie Stadium. Sophie Stadium. I want to show you something. It opened September 8th of 2020. September 8th of 2020. Los Angeles Rams, Cincinnati Bengals play, okay? Here they are right there. And Los Angeles Rams defeated Cincinnati 23 to 20. All right? Rock colors, right? Now, like I said, we already said September 8th, right? September 8th, 2020. When we take September 8th of 2023, that was their last birthday of that stadium. This is where they play the Super Bowl at now, Sophie Stadium. Their last birthday was what? 9-8 of 2023. Subtracted from the day that Snoop Dogg is going to carry that torch of 726 or 2024. Get ready for this. It's going to blow your mind. Look at those numbers 1018, 46, and 322. 322 is Skull and Bones. At 46 years old, JFK died. Uh, Joe Biden's son, Bo, died at 46. And George Floyd died at 46. In 1018, Luke 1018, as I beheld Satan, lightning falling from the sky. Look at that. Look at all this going down. And what I need to tell you guys is this. I did this breakdown in relation to this Olympics. This high goal. Snoop Dogg will be holding the torch and running tomorrow, which is the 26th. The 26th. His birthday is... October 20th. Guess what? Kamala Harris' birthday is also October 20th. She has been handed the torch by what? By whom? By Joseph Robin and Biden. You feel me? So she's been handed the torch and so will Snoop Dogg. Is that coincidence? And at the games, I showed what? That in iPad Go 3, the Eiffel Tower will be split in half in that movie that's what i'm going that's what i'm showing in the video it's in the video it's in my last video it has been split in two here it is here why would this guy travel to get permanent dental here it is here the eiffel tower is going to be split in two in iPad Go 3. And I'm asking myself, what hit it? Again, Snoop Dogg is carrying the torch. Kamala Harris was, is given the torch by Biden. They're both the same age. And the Eiffel Tower is being split in two in this movie, iPad Go 3. Why, 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 why? Why is all this going on? Now, let's go through the numbers and wrap this thing up. I apologize for being too long. Snoop Dogg is making his first few days in Paris, 2020-24, Snoop Dogg. Some sports will begin on the 24th, right? And it's 19 days. 19 means chaos in Gematria. It goes, how long will it go? It's gonna go from July 26th to August 11th. Barack Obama's birthday is August 4th. He'll be 63 years old. That's another reason why I believe something's gonna go down. It's deep. Look at it like this. If you take um, October 7th of 2023, 
the day that Hamas went after Israel to August 10th of 2024, that's doing the games in France, the difference is 44 days. Barack Obama's the 44th president. I believe something's gonna go down. Something's gonna go down, people. Emmanuel Macron, he's the president of France, okay? I want you to look at these dates. He's 46 years old. His birthday, December 21st. It's gonna be a lot. Plus, I wanna show you the days that he served. He first got elected in May 14th of 2017. His second election was May 7th of 2022. Now watch this. That's his birthday, 12-21. He got a birthday coming up. Subtracted from 10-20, Carmela Harris' birthday and Snoop Dogg's birthday. The difference is 62. Barack Obama is 62 years old. 5-14, May, May 14th. May 14th is one of the days that the French, the French president became what? 514 is what, Pearson? He's um, when he was elected. 514 is one of the days he was elected. He was, he was elected May 14th of 2017. If you make it May 14th of 2024, subtracted from the day that Snoop Dogg holds the torch, the difference is 216. Two months, one week, six days. Okay, how does that factor in? The, 260, the 216th day of the year is August 4th. Barack Obama was born August 4th. See the tie-in? Also, Macron was elected again, May 7th. If you make it 2024, subtracted from the day that Snoop Dogg has the torch, the difference is 81. Who's 81 years old? That would be Biden. Then look at this. The stadium they're gonna have the games at, look at that, this is the stadium. S-T-A-D-E, the France. It was made, it was created on January 28th, 1988. January 28th. Take January 28th, his last birthday. Well, uh, uh, the birthday they had in 2023, May 28th, 2023. It's tragic from the day that Snoop Dogg holds the torch. The difference is what? 78 weeks. Why is 78 important? Donald Trump is 78 years old. Is there going to be a sacrifice for Obama, for Biden, and for Trump? It's deep. And check this out. On 5-6, there was a coordination, right? Who was that? King Charles on 5-6. Why is that important? I showed you yesterday, Super Bowl 56, and everything that went down. Okay, so look. 5-6. 2023 and 726, Snoop Dogg carrying the torch. The difference is 63-6. Now, what I want you to understand is this. This man allegedly saw the sun god. The sun god is about to do damage on this earth. We are in the tribulation. Something about to go down, people. That's what I believe. The numbers, they, they, they line up too well. I just wanna say thank you, Jesus, for showing me this. I'm not trying to scare nobody, I'm just saying. The threats are there, the numbers are there. And answer this question, did this man for six days, did he go and get a law like Moses went and got a law? And when you see him now, you see a face that shone just like Moses. I'm Friend Shai Pearson, God bless.